In this video, I'm going to dive deep into Leonardo, the AI image generator. I'll show you how to easily create images and guide you through the options explaining all the settings such as photoreal, prompt magic or alchemy step by step. In my last video, I showed you how you can join up on Leonardo to use their free plan, which lets you use 150 tokens each day. If you haven't checked that out, you can find the link in the description below. So, let's go! First, let's generate an image. On the left side, you will find all the options. On the main screen, you'll see a box where you can write your prompt. This is where you explain what you want your image to be. Below the prompt, there is a drop-down menu with the models you can choose from. There are quite a few models in Leonardo, like Dream Shaper version 7, Absolute Reality 1.6 or a 3D animation style. There is also the latest Stable Diffusion Extra Large model, which was released by Stable Diffusion only a few weeks ago. Next to that, another drop-down menu with various styles. These are just additional aesthetics that you can use to make your image look better. By the way, most styles need alchemy. When you turn off the alchemy slider, you're left just with Leonardo and none. We'll talk more about alchemy later. For now, let's keep going on this screen. There is a slider to enable a negative prompt. If you don't want something in your image, like people in a cityscape for example, you put it in the negative prompt. The image generator takes that into account. Under the Generate button you can see the token count. I'm at 20 tokens now because I set the image count to 4. Let's change that to 1. Now Leonardo will only use 16 tokens. So let's hit Generate. I'm really pleased with the result. Now let's take a closer look. Once the image comes up, you can check it out in the image feed. When you hover, you get choices. You can delete the image, download it or copy it to a clipboard. Then there are some actions that will use up tokens, so let's dive into those. First off, you can zoom out an image. That means Leonardo starts painting the edges, pulling back on the zoom or the focus. This is my original and this is it after unzooming. You can also strip the background from your image. If you compare before and after, I'm pretty impressed with what Leonardo did. There are also some cool options for upscaling, which means boosting the image's quality. So you get a higher resolution image. Leonardo has different choices that give different outcomes. There is Alchemy Smooth Upscale and Alchemy Crisp Upscale. By the way, if you apply any of these, you can switch between the regular image and the upscaled one anytime. I've tried them all and here's a side by side. From what I can see, crisp upscale is closer to the original, not really sharp around the eyes. Smooth upscale gave me a super detailed high resolution image, especially around the eyes and hair, but not too sharp to look fake. Photoreal is the newest thing from Leonardo, a powerful tool that helps you create all sorts of images from cinematic photos to super realistic portraits. What's cool about Photoreal, it's very simple to use and you won't need complex prompts to generate great images. However, it will cost you tokens. What you should be aware of, enabling Photoreal means disabling prompt magic. That's just how it was designed. Negative prompts won't work either. And this feature is currently in beta, so it's still under development and testing. Let's give it a try. I can turn on photo reel right here on the left. As you can see, it automatically switched the model to Leonardo photo reel. So I've chosen the cinematic style and I really like the result. I've tried out a few other styles as well. Here's a comparison. On the left you can spot the added choices that Photoreal brings along. The first one handles the image's depth of field. 
This decides which parts of the scene are sharp and which parts are blurred. At lower values, the image has a narrower focus range with more areas looking soft or out of focus. Higher values give the image a broader focus range, bringing more of it into sharpness. You can choose between low, medium and high. Check out the same image with all three levels for comparison. Raw mode is an option that grants you more image control. Leonardo suggests leaving it off as it demands more detailed prompts. But if you're okay with using more intricate prompts for greater control over your images, you can switch it on. At times, your prompt may not always deliver the exact image you're after. This has been a recurring concern for me, especially in stable diffusion. The people at Leonardo came up with something called prompt magic, which significantly improves how accurately your prompts are followed. Essentially, they enhance your prompts in the background to make the images look better. You can activate it by toggling the prompt magic slider on the left. There are two versions of prompt magic. Version 2, the older one. When activated, it doubles the token usage. And there's version 3, a very recent super new version. However, version 3 is still in beta and can only be used along with Alchemy, which means it will cost you more tokens. Moreover, there are extra settings you can apply to Prompt Magic. The Prompt Magic strength determines how much the Prompt Magic influences image creation. In simpler words, it affects how much your prompts are improved. A higher number means a stronger effect. I'd suggest keeping it at 0.55. Turning on high contrast modes leads to moodier images with deeper shadows. If your images appear too dark, you can turn this off. This contrast option is available only with Prompt Magic version 2. As with version 3, it becomes part of Alchemy and will show up under the Alchemy settings. Let's give it a try with a new prompt. Luminous jellyfish drifting in the ocean. Now, let's compare the options. When I disable high contrast, I get more vibrant colors. Once I activate Alchemy, prompt magic automatically shifts to version 3. The resulting image contains much more detail than in my initial prompt. Lastly, this image here uses Prompt Magic version 3 with RAW mode off, following Leonardo's recommendation. Alchemy is a feature designed to enhance the quality of your images. Recently, it has been made available for the free tier, granting access to a variety of settings. To truly understand Alchemy's effects, I'll begin by generating an image without Alchemy. This means Photoreal, Prompt Magic and Alchemy are all switched off. My prompt reads the face of an old man with a white beard and green eyes. The image is decent, though a bit on the cartoony side. Now let's activate Alchemy. As you can observe, it produces an entirely different level of image quality. Next, I'm adding Prompt Magic version 3 to the mix and it further improves the result. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my images. You can notice that the image quality improves with Alchemy and even more with Prompt Magic, because Prompt Magic adds bits of detail to the image. However, it's important to note that this improvement comes at a cost, as Alchemy consumes a significant amount of tokens. Now, let's look into the Alchemy settings. High resolution increases the image's overall resolution. Contrast Boost manages the distinction in brightness, color or tone among the different image elements. Higher contrast means more noticeable differences. Resonance influences the image's detail level and how closely it adheres to the prompt. Leonardo recommends a value between 13 to 15. 
Using this slider for public images, you can decide whether you want your images to be public or kept private. Public implies that Leonardo may use them for research or marketing. However, this choice isn't accessible in the free tier. You'd need to go for a paid option. In the Image Dimension section, you can set your image size by picking one of the preset options or by fine-tuning the width and height sliders. You'll see that the aspect ratio shifts along with the size changes. Alternatively, you can modify the aspect ratio directly. The Guidance Scale is a setting that determines how closely Leonardo should follow the instructions you provide in your text prompt. When the scale is lower, Leonardo gets more creative. When it's higher, it adheres more closely to your prompt. However, this doesn't always guarantee the best images. The default setting of 7 is usually sufficient. Let's compare the Guidance Scale using the image prompt for Acute Panda. At the lowest setting, it generates an image of a girl wearing cat ears, so I don't see a panda here. At the highest setting, it gives me what I want, a cute panda. Interestingly, the recommended setting of 7 produces the exact same result. In my upcoming video, I'll be walking you through some advanced functions like prompt generation, image to image creation, and control net. I'll also guide you through the possibilities in AI Canvas. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time!